Hello, I'm Ron Clark. Today we're going to do the five paths of Netzach. Three hidden paths, a planetary path, the path of Venus, and a zodiacal path. So, our first path is a hidden path from Kether to Netzach. It stretches a long way. So, here we go. infinite, all-encompassing I, the I that is everything. And I look all the way down to Nesach. Already Nesach shines because I look in its direction. I descend onto Netzach, and oh, it's such a sweet descent. Mm, it's like a petal of a really fragrant flower dropping slowly to the ground, just ever so slowly and so gently. Oh, and I feel Netzach. So sweet. Ooh. And I see that I resonate with all around me. I am connected with all around me through resonation. Oh, and I bring with me the sweet scent of Catherine in all my associations, in all my resonating. Blessed with a sweetness, such a fragrant sweetness from Catherine. And I float back up to Catherine, gently, gently, to the pure white brilliance of the eye. down on Netzach with such affection, such affection, a sweet kiss to Netzach. Mm. The overwhelming feeling in that is affection, um, that, that is the spirit of the resonance of Netzach, it is affection. Yeah. Okay. Now, the next path is a very significant path in the Tree of Life, the connection between Bina and Netzach. It goes from the pillar of severity, cross through the Alafresh crossing to the Pillar of Mercy. And this is echoed, um, next video will be the path leading from Chokma down to Chod. And this is, again, significant. It crosses through, this is the last crossing of the Alafresh crossing. Um, and they're very significant to me. Um, those are the two most significant paths in the Tree of Life. So, from Bina, the hidden path, from Bina to Netzach. <clears throat> Sensual form, such a 
such beautiful forms, all of them perfect in their expression of meaning. Ah, oh, these forms. I find one form, the form of my greater self, here in Bina. And I look down at Netsa. And I descend upon Netsa. Going down with such purpose and intention. And I find myself at the Isle of Fresh crossing the center, the balance point. certainty, this purpose, ah, I am in that side, here amongst all the resonance, amongst the connection with everything, and I bring the wisdom, the pattern, the template of my greater self into this act of resonating. It always reflects my greater self. I won't get carried away. I don't get carried away. It is I who resonates. I'm assured of this knowledge of myself in all my resonations all my opening and closing and opening and closing and opening to other. I am always me. Oh. I look up to Bina and man, I'm thankful for that input, for that reminder, that constant reminder to always fresh crossing to the balance point where I am the center of this universe and I carry on to be a home the home of my greater self in the world of forms my greater form The overriding sense there <laughs> is how much the greater self uh, imposes itself upon the Netzach self. When you can make that connection with the greater self, it comes right down into the uh, emotional part of the astral body, the, the part that resonates uh, in part through emotion, um, and says, Oh, don't get, don't get carried away, you know, don't get sucked in, you know, you're still this person, this being, um, that's good to know. <laughs> okay, the next is the hidden path between Tiferet and Netzach. I am. Oh, I 
see all the other individual selves surrounding me. Oh, to infinity, there's so many of us here. And we are all alike and all uniquely different. Oh, amazing. I look down as my individual self to Netsar, my Netsar. Beautiful greenness melts into my gold. Oh, I descend oh, like molten gold, flowing into Venus, flowing into Netsar, flowing into Netsar. I am the energy that fires all oh, the energy of the resonation. that resonates, my Tiferet energy, flowing outward, mingling with all other. Oh, it feels so good, so alive, so vital with this solar energy. Ah, the Tiferet energy. Oh, flowing through my veins. Feels so shines down upon me. It glows with this molten gold raining down upon me. And I climb back upward. Ah, the rain of gold flows through me down to that sun. And I climb. Ah, different. Different. I see all the other individual selves, and they all have their own Netzach. Oh, it's beautiful. Emerald green connected to brilliant gold. Yes, in that path you really get in touch with how much Tiferet energizes all that goes on in that song. All the energy, etc., that flows in that song. All the vitality comes from Tiferet. Okay. The next path is the planetary path from Gedula down to Netzach. And this is the path of Kaph. K-A-P-H. And Kaph means the palm of the hand. The palm of the hand that, that holds, that cups things. Um, and it is the planet Venus. Venus. So, look at Judah. the way it is, in perfect symmetry, in perfect rhythm. Oh, it's such a beautiful symphony of shape and form, and all connected oh, to the edges of infinity.
feel myself the one thing splitting up into all these things, all these things, all these faces, all these different forms and shapes and meanings. Oh, I'm down here in Netsock. Venus, there's Mars, there's Jupiter, ah, Saturn, Kronos, there are all the old gods, and all the new gods, ah, and I resonate with them, I feel them, all oh, the archetypes, all these different faces, Entering into Nessak from Gajula. Ah, Venus. She brings so much here. She brings with her all these faces, this gift of the gods, this gift of all the spirits, all the gnomes, all the selfs. All the spirits of all the animals and plants and people and places and things, ideas, oh, they all take form here. And I resonate with each one. Oh, I feel each one. And each one sees me and feels me. Oh, there's so much energy passing between us here. I connect with every one, every single one. Oh, thank you, Venus. Thank you, Gajula, for this blessing, this community. Gajula, oh, through this rain, this rain of archetypes that all come from the collective awareness of Gajula. Ah, oh, they are aspects of the collective. Yes, here in Gajula, where we are an infinite number, yet we are one. Sock and I see my infinite number of faces connecting through resonance. <laughs> yes, get to love. Power. It's all perfect. Oh my. That was intense. <laughs> Yes, uh, what's really apparent here um, is how the path of calf communicates more um, astrally what the, um, the higher path of Jupiter, uh, the path of Gimel, communicates into Gejula, the archetypes. Um, descend into astral form through this path of calf. Uh, it's a really nice experience. Okay, the last path is the path from Yesod to Netzach. This is the path of Samek. Samek means prop. So something that holds something else up. Up, that a prop. Um, uh, it can also be a staff in that it holds a person up as they walk. Um, but it's a prop. And this is the path of Sagittarius, which is ruled by Jupiter. Okay? Ooh, I'm 
floating in this ocean of significance. Everything around me, everything inside of me is so significant, so powerful, so me. It's I, Ron. I am Ron here. Oh, I am Ron here. Just on the verge of taking physical form. I am getting ready. I am descending. I am descending into incarnation through Netzach. I descend into Netzach. Oh, the emerald green of Netzach. Oh, oh, I feel, oh, my significance now. It is taking form and resonating. I am connecting with everything through emotion. Oh, this is all my emotions that shoot from the bow like an arrow straight to the target. Yes, my emotions that go to the truth of everything, immediately to the truth, and I perceive with them all that is around me. Oh, everything speaks in emotion to me, and I resonate with it. It grabs me inside and, 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 and pulls and pushes and pulls. down from yes the significance of feeling the significance of resonance oh it's all so significant oh it's so beautiful and it's play with the emotions they're like different notes in a grand symphony it's all musical here because of the significance that comes from Yesah that descends into Nesah. Oh, so beautiful, so alive, and it's captivating, so captivating. Oh, oh. And I rise back up to Yesah, back up to my astral self. feel the emotions in the same way from here, but I see them sparkling in Yesah, I mean in Netzah, sparkling away, beautiful, oh it's so beautiful, like raindrops on a flower in the morning, glinting in the sunlight, so beautiful, and here I am in Yesah. astral beauty, it's overwhelming. Oh, it's all so beautiful. Oh, and I feel it. I touch it. I smell it. I taste it. I hear it. Oh. Yes. is the origin of emotion, which is really, exists, lives, it exists, it shines in Netzad, more so than Yesod. Yesod has a significance, but in Netzad it takes it to the level of emotion, which is to say, uh, it's captivating. Uh, we have to experience it. it, it it's, it's a requirement. <laughs> That's part of incarnating. We are bound to this part of us that feels. That's part of what keeps us here in these bodies, is emotion. So, that's it today for Netzach. Next time will be Hod. <laughs> the six paths of Hod. Okay, till then, be well. Bye-bye.